It is, now see, I'm all, now I'm all distracted by this side of George Washington in my head. It is, I really have completely lost my train of thought. I was totally in the zone. You know, it may come back, but here's, let me do this right now instead. Uh, we are here also partly because our wallets are thinner. We are here in large part because uh, they intend to make them even thinner yet. They think that you're babies and that they're going to, and that a, a Barry is going to be daddy and Nancy's going to be mommy when in fact they're going to be unemployed. They're not going to be mommy or daddy. But in the meantime, here's what I'm going to ask you. How many of you plan on going to the movies this weekend? Or maybe you've already done it. Are you some moviegoers? Yeah. Or maybe out to dinner? Let me remind you, when it comes to the cost of certain things, go to a movie, couple tickets, maybe 20 bucks, concessions, another 10 to 15, parking. Maybe you get a snack, even fast food. By the end of a family night out, maybe you do it once a month, it's about 50 bucks. Maybe it's 20 for some of you, right? Maybe you're spending 15 bucks a month on Netflix. Let me ask you, and I know some of you have got change in your pockets. I'm not asking for credit cards or checks. You got some volunteers here in some red shirts. Well, thank you, sir. $20 bill. When I was uh, growing up and was on my own, this, and I still can do it. This is 20 pot pies in my world. Those chicken pot pies at Swanson's. Oh, look, 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 I can live on 20 bucks a week. I think many of us have, maybe some of you still are. I know what $20 buys, but let me tell you, the thing, of course, without using the cliche, but it's true, $20 will buy you 20 pot pies. Uh, the price of freedom, though, is in blood and is in commitment. There is no money that can buy it. What it can do is help us work. Well, thank you. Oh, is, this, is this from you? Great manicure, by the way. <laughs> An American entrepreneur right here. A new American entrepreneur. She took my 20. <laughs> that, I'll tell you, don't, don't stop that inclination in her. Just make sure she's not armed when she's doing it. Thank you so much. A dollar? Here's what we're dealing with. If you were to not go to the movies once this month, if you were to make something at home instead of buying fast food, if you were perhaps to forego maybe a new t-shirt or a new pair of tennis shoes you had on your mind, think of something, the simplest thing in the world, foregoing whatever amount it is. We've got now volunteers like to have you move through, come over here so they can see you. Little bags, you got something in your pocket. Let me start with this. Let me, let me give you from a dollar to a 20. I'm gonna put it in this bag, whatever you can do. Change, whatever, every penny. Listen, I'm a former left-wing organizer. Let me tell you how Barack Obama did his thing and how the left does it. Dollars. Conservatives, I've found it's like organizing cats. You know, think about that. It's like organizing cats. It's difficult. You eschew leadership, but there's a point where you agree. For nothing else but the sake of this nation, for the people left bleeding and dead on foreign soil to free them, for those still underground in France of all places, for those who will never come home after sneak terrorist attacks, either in Japan or in New York City. For those who lay under the earth and under the ocean, who wait, 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 for the Americans who still enjoy the benefit of that sacrifice. Make a little bit more, make different choices, a little bit, whatever you can. This organization, there is no major funding for this. Uh, and it's difficult. But if you're committed to this, as I am, we will make not only a sacrifice of some dollars, do it in the name of whom was left behind in World War II, in World War I, in Korea, the 60,000 troops still in South Korea and Japan, the seven missiles that North Korea shot overnight, the missile that sits on its soil with parts from Russia, where our esteemed president is right now, he is uh, in Russia, 
as a missile sits in North Korea made with Russian parts we have found and, an, and a machine, an engine that can reach Hawaii, Alaska, Seattle, and San Francisco. And Barack Obama is having, oh, I don't know, some kind of lunch with the people who in part made that possible. So when we think about what our commitment is, your time, volunteering, and the difference a dollar makes, that the left does what it does because, look, liberals have pretty much less money than we do, all right? Because they are reliant on unions. I know there are some union members here probably. How many of you are union members? I'm a union member from uh, the Radio and Television Artists of America. I have to send them money every month. For some union members, it's about a cap, about what you can make. Barack Obama wants America to become a union. They want a ceiling on the American dream. For some of you, the American dream isn't a home at all. Maybe it's a, ca a cabin or a tent where you're camping. Maybe it's about traveling. Maybe it's about your RV as you go through America and look at its beauty. Maybe it's that you're a renter and you're saving all your money, not for a house necessarily, but to make sure you can get your girls into the dance school or into the private school. Let me tell you right now, those things are indeed luxuries and dreams. We have work to do next year, making sure that there is, look, not a Republican victory. I don't give a damn about the Republicans. Forgive me for those of you who are Republicans. I don't care who saves this country, who gets rid of these taxes, who cuts that socialism head off at the neck. I don't care what letters after the name. I want a conservative victory in 2010. A conservative victory in 2010, which will stop the Obama and the leftist agenda. It'll stop it. And then, of course, a conservative victory in 2012, one to which then afterwards we can say, thank you, President Reagan, for serving as a benchmark for what is possible and what we're made of, because we just did it again. Everyone, thank you very much. And for Sarah Palin, run, baby, run. Run, baby, run. Thank you, everybody. Happy Fourth of July. I'm, not, I'm gonna go get a few drinks maybe with some of you. It is a time for our generation to kick some backside. And we will take no prisoners. You send that to Washington. Thank you, everyone. Good night. The inimitable Tammy Bruce, ladies and gentlemen, a huge hand for Tammy! She just put some splaining on you, that was awesome! We love, keep it going, thank you Tammy Bruce!